Um, first off, uh, this is not the pineapple you're going to find in your grocery store. Um, this has uh, these uh, babies on the bottom, which are called slips. And if you break them off, um, that'll grow into a new plant. So if you decide to grow pineapples on your own at your house and you see these things, don't throw them away. They're, they're free plants. Um, secondly, I see a lot of people say to take the tops and stick them in water. And if you do that, um, it will develop roots just fine, but the roots will get bacteria on them that the plant then has to fight the rest of its life. Um, so I recommend that you don't do that, that it's a little bit better to just stick it right in the soil. Don't worry, it will grow roots. Um, these things are pretty tenacious. As long as you have the right temperature, as long as it's not too cold, they're, they're going to be fine. Um, secondly, I see a lot of people, or thirdly, maybe, I don't know, whatever number we're on. Uh, I see a lot of people saying to cut. You don't need to cut them. If you just twist it, it'll pop right off. Um, you'll see a little bit of fruit right there. That is tasty. This is a white pineapple. This isn't the golden pineapples that you get uh, in the store a lot. This is sweeter. There's no sourness to it. So if you're going to go to the trouble of growing your own pineapple, I would hunt one of these down because you're going to get a lot more uh, bang for your buck, a lot more reward for your effort out of a white pineapple than you would for a golden pineapple. Golden pineapples, I will warn you that if you have a white pineapple, it will ruin golden pineapples for you. You'll never want a golden pineapple again. You'll think anything that's not a white pineapple is garbage because these things are just superior pineapples. They just are. They are harder to ship and they're harder to gauge when they're ripe. Um, but everything else is just positive. Um, the way you tell if it's ripe, you, you'll see it's kind of going gold, but there's still green to it. Um, you have to smell it and they have a really strong, sweet smell. Once they're ripe, they'll smell super, super sweet, and that's when it's ready to go. Um, so, like I said, twist the top off. You'll see this fruit. You'll let that dry. Now, you can cut that off if you want to, but honestly, I just let it dry out. Um, and I'm in a rainforest, so if it dries out sufficiently here, I'm sure wherever you are, as long as you're not literally underwater, you'll be fine. Um, this is a top that's been drying for a while, and you'll see... It kind of curls up on itself and see the fruits all gone it just dries out and it, it turns into that little just nothing so you start with this and you let it dry for a while and you end up with this and then you're going to take off these bottom leaves just peel them right off and you're going to see you're going to begin to see as you peel these bottom leaves off little nubs and those nubs are actually air roots. That's where the roots will start when it comes in contact with, um, with soil, with moisture. Um, now, it's, there, it's not actually the roots that will drop. They, like I said, they're air roots. This is technically a bromeliad. So if you're familiar with the uh, air plants that are uh, all the rage to have in little, um, little cages, um, We have some, but I'll, I'll, I, won't, I won't bother taking them down. Um, if you're familiar with those, sometimes if you're at the beach, they'll sell them in sh seashells on magnets, or uh, you'll see them up in, the, in trees in the south or in, in moist areas. Um, that's cousins of these guys. All right, so here you should be able to see the nubs. That's the section of the stem where the roots will start to drop. So if you just stick that in soil, this top will become um, a plant. The growth, the new growth comes from the center and so does the pineapple eventually. Um, and I guess that's really it. Um, like I said, the main thing I have a problem with with what I see online is people say to stick it in a glass of water. Roots hate sunlight. So first off, your roots are unhappy that they're being subjected to sunlight. They want to be in the dark. They want to be underground. Secondly, like I already mentioned, the bacteria growth on the roots will, will weaken the plant and 
give the plant something to fight for the rest of its existence. And you don't want that as your plant. You want a good, strong root system. The bigger the root system, the bigger the plant, the bigger the pineapple. And that's really what we're after. All right. Thanks. Bye.